there are no Middle Kingdom potsherds at all. All of the Old Kingdom sites were marked out and then compared to sites that showed later occupation. The results were significant. We see a fairly large number of sites. There are 27 sites. And then in the period immediately following the Old Kingdom, there's only evidence for four sites. There was a really huge crisis going on for the number of sites to have dropped. The research showed that 80% of the villages and cities in the Delta were abruptly abandoned at around the same time as the Egyptians had stopped building pyramids. The evidence supported Dr. Hassan's theory that the collapse of the Old Kingdom was sudden, cataclysmic and widespread. But what had caused this dramatic demise? Further south, in the heart of the empire, Dr. Fekri Hassan is continuing to search for clues in the tomb of the pharaoh's agricultural overseer. Here we have the owner of the tomb, T, and his wife supervising all the estate activities. T's tomb illustrates a vibrant and thriving empire. They enjoyed the produce of their farms. They had estates that produced uh, all kinds of fruits. Clearly, the herding of, of cows. Hassan identifies a recurring and significant theme in the images. Well, most of the scenes that we have 